to the door on his left. Oh, I want to know what the other way does. <laughs> this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I'm scared that wow. it's still... Yes, this room. What a... But eager to get back to business, <laughs> Stanley took the so first this time, open door on his left. I want to know... Oh... No, I want to know what's over there. Okay. Stanley was so bad at following yep. directions. Yeah, I'm really bad at following directions. Years ago. Yep. Okay, let's go. Stanley, I think perhaps up, we've up, gotten up away. on the wrong foot here. I don't care. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I don't I believe you. Investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the I don't fact care. is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. It has. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, right. I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Who's her? This Who's her? Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. Who's her? To put your work aside. To let her back into your Who's life. <gasps> She's been waiting. Mary, hello. Tell me. Hello. Lady. I'm coming for you. Holy shit! That's her, Stanley. Duh. You need to be the one to do this. Oh. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Oh, God, I'm married! Okay, there we go. All right, now I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. That was oh, horrible. Come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife who'd want to commit their life to you? <laughs> I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. The hell's the matter with her legs? The hell's this the matter with that? This is a sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. What? Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Uh, but <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not going to. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. <gasps> and so he began to fantasize no! about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, Everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Spend time with the boys. So he went further. He imagined that he could get two open doors and that he could go through have, either. Have a At wife. Last choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. Sorry, I'll the stop mere doing. thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Prepare dinner. As he wandered through this oh. fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. So Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it 
the Stanley Parable. It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Um. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. <gasps> Honey, I there love you. No oh. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more interested <gasps> he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. I made my office! Uh, and I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. <laughs> But as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. Oh, yeah. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. No. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen up. I actually messed up there and I didn't hear the rest of that because QuickTime decided to pop up on my fucking screen. Um, what happened? He said not to press the button, right? I can't wait anymore! Can no. you not hear me? How can no, I tell him I in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Mirror. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply Mirror. play to my intended purpose. Time. The same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. No! Why does it keep freezing? I'm so confused! Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you see, please click the like button. That's the first time I think I've ever said that in a video. Don't quote me on that. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked <gasps> down? Why did doors close automatically behind <laughs> him wherever he went? I don't and know. Matter, I wish I knew. These rooms were starting to look pretty.